what I'm really interested in is how do you get um, animals to do different things simply by tweaking um, the way that you build their brains. Um, and so that's sort of what I, what I look is, is if an animal can do one thing and another close related animal can't, well, what's different about the brain that makes one animal be able to manufacture tools, whereas the other one has to just sort of wait until the worm shows up in front of them. Crows of New Caledonian are a really good example. So when you look at crows of New Caledonian, they can manufacture tools out of the leaves that they find in the bush. And they use those tools to actually get um, into wor to, to capture worms that are living deep in the wood or something. If you grab, for example, other crows that are in, in, in Napier, they can't do that. And, and, and if you look at the crows, they pretty much the same, um, but they have these different abilities. And so one of the things that I study is what's different about the brain. Can we find something about the brain that helps explain those differences in behavior? We do what we call comparative neurobiology to try to figure out, can we pinpoint what is it that's special about either a single cell or a single group of cells that can explain why this behavior emerged in this species and didn't in this other one.